The most common report you're going to run in your accounts receivable module is the aging report. This will list all of your account customers that have a balance in the accounts receivable, whether that's a positive balance or a negative balance, a negative balance being a credit balance. To run this report, you'll go to Reports, AR, Aging. The ending date will always be today's date. You can change that date back. Whatever that date is, when you run the report, those were the balances as of that day. Under the customer, you can run this report for all of your account customers. Again, it's only going to bring up accounts that currently have a balance. Or you can select a specific account. You can choose to look at all the transactions. Or if you only want to look at accounts that have amounts that are, say, over 30 or over 60, you can choose that option. When you pick one of those options, it will list that entire account if it has at least one item that is either over 30 or over 60, whatever you select. But it shows the entire account, not just those items that are over 30 or over 60. If you'd like to see just credit accounts only, then you can choose the list credits only. The calculate account status balances allows it, the program to calculate all of the customer uh, balances. When you do a ticket for a cash customer, if you were to have a payment on a cash customer ticket and had it saved as a work order, it would show up on the aging report as a negative amount. So if you want to exclude those payments on cash customer accounts, you would choose the exclude cash customer deposit option. Any invoices that are on the aging report that are for EDI, you can check the include EDI status information to see the current status of that invoice. And then if you've used the collection screen and put in any notes in the collection screen on any of your accounts, then the include collection notes would have those notes print out on the aging report. On the report to tab, by default, it will print to your screen. If you want to print this report out to your printer, you can simply choose the printer option and which printer you'd like it to print to. Choose OK to run the report. We can take a look at the columns here on this report. The first column, the reference field, that would be uh, in the case of the first one there for auto owners, the type is P, which stands for payment, so that reference number is the check number. And our second one there for bad horse, the type is I for invoice, so the reference number there is the invoice number. Next we have the date of the transaction followed by the transaction number. Then you have the amount of that transaction. And then the balance left on the account for that particular transaction. So, and then it'll show whether it's current or if it's uh, past current. And then to the far right, it will give the balance on the account for that particular item. And then it'll total that all the items at the uh, end there. You can see we have several more types listed there. Aside from I and P, we also have type D, which is a debit. Debits are created in the accounts receivable. And you can see the one there for the finance charge. Whenever you run finance charges, it creates a debit in accounts receivable and adds it to the customer's account. And then lastly, we have type C, which would be a credit invoice created in the point of sale module. When you run this report, if you go to the very last page of it, at the very bottom of that page, we'll have the totals, which totals up all of the accounts and lists the balances for all of the different current over 30, over 60, as all the way over till you get your total balance. That total balance would be the total amount owed to you by all of your customers. The aging report comes in very handy, especially at the end of the month when you run statements. If a particular customer statement isn't printing or it doesn't appear to have the right amounts on it, you'll want to come in and run the aging report to take a closer look because sometimes it may show some things for that account that won't be on the statement.